I want to take you down south to a place I know Where the place is alive and the internet's slow I want to take you there Let's never come back again Hey guys, this is Ray and I'm driving to Panther Junction in Big Bend National Park and I just got to see four bears, a mom with three cubs and she crossed right where I was. I had um, had the car stopped and I was outside of the car just enjoying the view on the um, side of the street that I was on when from the same side comes Mama Bear, only I didn't know she was there. She was a good distance away, but I could hear her sniff the air, you know. She breathed in and breathed out, just like a deep bellowing breath. If you've ever heard a large animal breathe, you know what I'm talking about. And anyway, so today I've seen four bears, one mountain lion, one bobcat, and a number of other animals. Um, not to say that, you know, it's like overwhelmingly abundant. I had to be in the right place at the right time, like I usually am to see this kind of wildlife. But there are some signs of struggle. There were, at the Rio Grande Village side of the park, there were bats hunting at 2.30 in the afternoon while it was about 90 degrees outside. So why are bats out foraging during the day? Well, it's kind of like armadillos in Texas. Well, throughout, I mean, I'm in Texas, but in the San Antonio Hill Country region, foraging for food during the day. The entities that they used to feed upon are no longer there at night. Now, I've noticed a couple of vultures in this park and any other late September, mid-September, you would at least have some kind of road kills on the ground. Most people aren't really paying attention to whether or not there are any kind of road kill or anything really. Most people just aren't paying attention. I hate to um, say it that way, but fact is a lot of us are kind of asleep at the wheel, so to speak. Me, I got here yesterday at about this time after having rescued a snake, um, or I should say, rescued it from a from a worse fate than it already had been enduring, which was basically meeting its demise at the wheels of a vehicle. After just basically having taken a nap, you know, I mean, these, say, these snakes in these areas, these snakes in these areas that are rarely frequented have had the opportunity to just kind of lay on the ground and as luck would have it, depending on traffic, things either survive without ever knowing that there was some kind of peril or they get hit by that peril that's hurtling their way as we're asleep at the wheel. So I urge you to wake up and pay attention to the things that are out there around you. Um, I had a, I've, I've, I mean, I've only been in the park one day. And I've seen everything that I ever had aspired to see during any trip to the park. And in almost every instance, 
I was a little bit too preoccupied with the safety of that nature that I was watching. As an example, when the bears crossed the road just now, I didn't really take any pictures or film anything so much as I got myself in the road to slow down traffic, which I heard approaching because my car was off and I was hearing everything that was going on around me. Now, Mama Bear understands traffic and looking both ways, but her cubs were obviously not ready to look both ways before crossing the road. They haven't had their scare themselves into awareness moment. Some of us haven't had those moments, even as adults. Some of us are still needing to get scared awake so that we can go, oh man, I need to be more cautious when I take these pills, when I take these prescriptions that are masking an illness that I have a little bit more control over than not. I know that a lot of you think I'm changing the subject and when I say a lot of you, I don't mean that in a demeaning, condescending way. What I mean is, I'm a part of that crowd when I hear someone talking in a certain way where I'm like, whoa, 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 I don't want to hear this story anymore. This guy's all critical and all that. The world might be dying around us right now. I don't have time to be judged as someone who believes anyone is anything more or less than myself. We don't have time for that. The only thing we have time is to enjoy with our loved ones what we see, how we see it, and what makes us smile. You know, that's really all we have time to do. Everything else, it's a distraction. If the job we're doing is not bringing absolute joy to us, it's a distraction. If we're in a place to enjoy it, and it is only a distraction to where we might just run over one of the cubs without having ever thought, hey, I'm in a wild space where there are wild things walking around. Well, if we do that, then how am I any different than just going back and forth to work like a drone? This is a job as well. It should be worth at least a dollar per view for any of my videos that have insight that was real and not masked and not in a condescending way. It's presented in a way that's just informative. We all need to slow down, start thinking about what it is that we're doing for enjoying a place we should bring less litter into it if we're enjoying a place we should nurture the community members that help bring this experience to you and in fact perhaps maybe we can be the community members for those areas that we enjoy so till next time i hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to share it subscribe like comment anything because in order for me to participate in the monetary system that we've all constructed, and in order for my votes to truly count, I've placed a pretty high value on the work that I do. So help me to achieve that goal. It's a mission that returns back to the source. In other words, I don't need all this. Only thing I need is to be able to pay for this Jeep. That's it. It's not quite paid off. So, help me out. If you want to talk careers, tell me this is not as important as cranking out 100 emails in two hours so that I can leave for the day. Tell me it's not as important or as real. And I'll show you. It's just as real as any other job out there, only I put in my full day and then some to try and get a smile from the people that I love. That's you. So, 
I need your help. Have a great evening. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.